in the dark. Uh, I don't know if we should change anything here. I think maybe not. We'll keep everything the same. Gloucester, Massachusetts, October 30th, 2001, 2100 hours. You didn't? Yeah, this game's awesome. I definitely recommend checking it out. When I first got my Dreamcast, um, I got this and Crazy Taxi. And so, um, it was one of the first Dreamcast games I played. I think, was it exclusive to the Dreamcast? I think it might have been. Candy, this is Fisk. I hope you had a safe trip. Let me look it up. I can already hear you ranting, but I've taken on a new case. I know, I know, I promised I'd quit. But I was contacted by a man named Johnson to go to Shadow Island and investigate Obed Morton in the Abcanis writing tablet. Uh, no, it was on PS2. Now there was also a Game Boy Color version, which is very weird. I'm going tomorrow. I left um, notes Game Boy Color down. version is, uh... See you soon, oh, they actually kept it similar to this. Is it five, 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 one, four, nine, five? Boston Police Department. Name, Fisk. First name, Charles. Date of birth, February 17th, 1944. Presumed date of death, October 24th, 2001. <laughs> Yeah, I'll post the link. Yeah, no, the graphics are really good. So, I, I assume this could fit on one PlayStation 2 disc, because PlayStation 2 States, had a DVD, which was like 4 gigs. Hours, 43 minutes. And for um, the Dreamcast, they had the 1 gig discs. So... They'll be on Shadow Island in about an hour. Carnby's a loose cannon, but we had no real choice. And the professor? Professor Eileen Sedrak is convinced that Obed Morton is her... We had no trouble persuading her. I must have those tablets in their translation. Is that clear, Johnson? Perfectly, sir. Daddy? Cedrac? Uh, Aline? Wake up. What? Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Here. You'll probably need this. Do you have your radio? Yes, I have it. Aline. When we get to the island, for your safety, you'd better stay close to me. Oh so, yeah, safety. who should I play as? Edward or Aline? Because they're gonna get separated at one point, and then you the get to choose stones. who you want to play as. I will be working with Professor Moore. Don't let the chat decide. My best friend died because of those tablets. He was killed on Shadow Island. And I swear I'm gonna find whoever did it. All right. I'm very sorry. Listen, I know Professor Morton's reputation. He's a scientist, a great researcher. Well, to me, he's just another suspect. We're getting close. Shadow Island. Maybe they shouldn't have been flying in a storm. Uh-oh. Yeah, this game is really good. If you like survival horror, it's like Resident Evil. Yeah, so she starts in the house, and he ends up in this kind of area outside of the house. Like a wood, wooded area. Yeah, so this is where you get to choose. Alone in the dark.
Alright, here I am. Oh. Hello. At least I got a flashlight. And this is our inventory. At least we have a gun. And we got some other stuff. Wait, oops. Um. We got a charm of saving. So I think, like... I don't know if we can only, I don't know if we only use this one at a time. Like, is this a one use item? I don't remember. We got first aid kit. We got a walkie talkie. Can't use a walkie talkie yet. Okay. okay how do I move forward? Oh, you used the D pad. That is really weird. I used the D pad. How do I run? Oh, okay. Hold down the X button. Courtney, answer me, please. Aline, are you okay? How could I be okay? What was that thing? What the heck's going on here? At the moment, I've got no idea. Listen, I want out of here, right now. Look, don't panic. I'll think of something. Where exactly are you? On the roof of some kind of manor. I nearly got myself killed. I'm really scared. Please do something. I landed in some woods about a hundred yards from the manor. Can you see me? See you? How <laughs> Don't I? panic. Help me for Christ's sake. Turn on your flashlight. Okay. I can see you now. Okay. I see you too. Here's what we'll do. Try and get inside the manor, then find a place to hide. I'll come looking for you. How long will that take? I don't know. As little time as I can. What? Aline, I'll come for you. And that's a promise. Hurry. Okay, so yeah, you, you walk with the D-pad, and then with the analog, you move around the flashlight. Kind of cool. blood uh yes in case you didn't know can we go up here <laughs> the controller just vibrated i'm scared I see more blood. Oh my god. Oh. Hello. Don't move. Don't move. Leave me be. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Who did this to you? This island is a hell hole. Not men. Filthy beasts. Flee! Get out of here any way uh -oh. you can. How did you get here? The boat. Last ship. He shot everyone. <laughs> I stitched. Are you scared? Look, just try to stay calm. You've got a gun. I'm leading you some bullets. I'll go and find help. Help? But you'll die like everyone else. Run. I'll be back. He doesn't look so good. Isn't he missing an arm? Wait, there's an item here. Hey, we got a small bronze key. Hype. 
maybe we can use that for something. A lot of blood here. Okay, I guess we should leave. I guess that guy's dead. Uh, should we go back and see what happened, or let's just keep going? I don't want to know what's in there. Doggles. Oh. Something ate that doggo. Oh, what the hell is that? The dogs ran away. The dogs are like, you need to get out of here. Oh. First aid kit. Good. Anything else here? I guess we can go back. It's a sculpture. Well, yeah. Uh, I guess we can go this way. There's the dead doggo. What's that noise? the doggo. Don't tell Peter. All right. I don't know if I should be going this way or the other way, but we'll go this way. Die. 
It's a sculpture. All right, we're heading toward the mansion, or we're trying to. No, nope, it's locked. Oh, well, we gotta find a key. Yeah, it's really good. If you like survival horror, this is survival horror. Carnby? Carnby, come in. What's going on? Things. Terrifying things. Shadows. Living shadows. Aline? It's awful. Come and get me. I'm begging you. Come quick. Aline! Aline! Oh, something, someone's shooting in that house. Oh, is someone looking at me from the window? Hey, you. Hey, stop looking at me. Uh, what is that? Somebody's screaming. There's surely a way. So I think I have to drain this. Well, what's that noise? Okay, yay, we get to go in the sewers. What an object can we take this? No. Okay. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Am I dead? <laughs> Game over. I'm dead. No. <laughs> and I didn't save. Oh no. In the dark. I'm dead. Hi, Chaz. How are you? Welcome Gloucester, to the stream. Massachusetts, October 30th, 2001. 2100 hours. Uh, I think you have to manually save. I had a save token thing. I could try it right now. In the dark. Yeah, we're playing random Dreamcast games. If you have a suggestion for a game, let me know. So yeah, if you um, open up the menu, there is a item. I just forgot to use it. This thing. That's how you save. You just, yeah. But we didn't really do much. I could easily get back to where we were. I, I could skip the cutscenes, so we can keep going. Oh, we need a code to open up this, uh, this lock. Oh, what was that?
scary, spooky. Yeah, I know, I know, I'm skipping this, I know, I know. I landed. Okay, I... I don't know. What? Aline, out. Hurry. I had to download this from a magazine at some point. Uh, yeah, we were checking out a demo disc. I got... I have one demo disc from a Dreamcast magazine. We were looking at that earlier. Um, that's really cool. I mean, I have a demo disc that my Dreamcast came with. Oh, for this game? Oh, cool. Um, this was actually one of the first Dreamcast games I ever got. I had this and Crazy Taxi. Um, it just so happens this was the one, um, one of the games being sold at the store. And I'm like, I, I, I kind of was interested in it because I like survival horror. So a lot of people skipped out on this game though, but... Um, Good. Let me talk to this guy again. Oh my god. Hello, dude. No, no, don't move. Don't move. Leave. I'm skipping, skipping, skipping. What's cool is you can skip Look, each line. So while, while, while you can't skip like the whole cutscene, you could like cut um, each line and interrupt each line that's being said. I'll be back. Yeah, sure, we'll be back. Sure. Yeah, we ain't coming back. Yeah, I could try to turn off the dark, but the thing is, this, this, this is how the game is. This is, the game is dark. But uh, I could try to turn off the brightness. Uh, uh, maybe in game I could do it too, because I was going to do it in um, OBS. Not in, not in the options. All right, bye, Stitch. Thank you so much for dropping by. You have a good night. Yeah, I could bring up the gamma. See how, how that looks. There. I think that's better, right? You get to see the cutscenes more gory.
Uh, it's the same one that was on the N64 and the PS1. It was just a port of that one. Yes, it's the same one. Doggles. I should pass this thing because he takes so many bullets. I think we have to kill him. I was trying to, uh, there we go. There's a button to reload, but I'm not sure which one. This is where we, we died. <laughs> this is where we died, so we didn't we survived. Good. Okay, I, I think this is a good spot to save, right? Oh yeah, so yeah, you, you when you get the save token, once you use it, you're you're it's a one use thing. So I wasn't sure about that. So yeah, you get the one use so it's kind of like ink ribbons with Resident Evil. So when you get so we have to find another save token, otherwise we can't save. So let's try not to die. What is this? Hey, 
Hey Scooter, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Hype, hype, hype. Yeah, we're just playing some Dreamcast. The game got loud all of a sudden. Oh, what the hell? Skip that thing. Ow! <laughs> no. No, we have to fight it. I think we have to fight it. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, our health is not good. Okay, I think we're, we're a little better now. Ow. Where is it? Still alive? <laughs> this is not Resident Evil Scooter. Okay, let me see. Reload. This is uh, Alone in the Dark. I think we killed it. Okay, we killed it. Okay, get out of here. It plays a lot like, um... <laughs> it plays like Rescue Rangers NES. Not really. Oh, I thought you were saying, is this Resident Evil? You said, is this like Resident Evil? Okay. Uh, yes. So it does play like Resident Evil, yes. Oh, good. We can finally save. Good. We should save. Okay, and we, we need health too. Hopefully we'll find a health item. Did we open that coffin over there? Of course. No. Oh, we got a key. So I found some interesting Xbox games that I bought today. I'm not sure if backwards are compatible. Oh, which ones did you get? Okay, we got a key. Oh good, I needed that. Aline? I didn't mean to call her. Uh Okay, health is good. Oh, bullets. That's important. Take the bullets. Oh, those are different. I don't have a gun for that. Oh, but we have a gun for that. Uh, Blinks is 
backwards compatible. So if you if you put Blinks into your Xbox Series X, um, you will be it will automatically download a copy of it, and you'll be able to play it. Star Wars, yeah, I think I think that one is backwards. S S X, I don't think so. Ninja Gaiden two, maybe. I think maybe just Ninja Gaiden Black is. So I know definitely the first two is backwards compatible. I saw something shining over here. See that? What is that? I don't know if I should leave yet. I feel like there's an item around here. Door is locked. Let's look through the spy hole. Can't really see anything. Uh, checked on their website. I'm cleared. What do you mean all of them are are uh, backwards compatible? That's awesome. I check here no uh truck door is locked maybe we can use that key we had no all right maybe we can use on that other door Life is Strange and Hades. Okay. Good pickups. Okay. So, hmm. Maybe here? Aha! We're in the house. Carnby, answer me. Aline, I thought you were dead. I did too. I'm not cut out for this kind of place. I want this to stop right now. I understand. You understand? You understand? You don't understand anything. I don't oh, cool. know what, what you, other games Jonathan or Professor Morton wanted me, but I'm asking for this nightmare to stop right now. Aline, get a grip on yourself. Where are you? Yeah, get a grip. In some room, but I can't get to you. One of the doors is locked, and I can crack the other one, but there's some heavy object blocking it. When I think it's Obed Morton who locked me in here, and I wanted to help him. Don't move. I'll come free you. Is that the best you can do? Yes, that's the best I can do. Well, okay then. Hurry up. Uh-oh. Oh, there's a saving thing. Yes. Let's turn on the light. Okay, we're good now. Kerosene lamp. An ordinary clock. Ashes are still warm. Door is locked. Conquer. Um, Mortal Kombat. Cool. Uh, you know, Conquer Live and Reloaded is on Rare Replay. Did you pick up Rare Replay? 
Uh, but yeah, Mortal Kombat is um. Didn't Mortal Kombat come out in 2009 or was it was 2011? Wow. Yeah, I really like that version. Aline, any more news? I'm here waiting for you. What are you doing? But you want the physical? Was there, the there was there was a physical copy. I didn't know it's a physical copy of Conqueror's Live and Reloaded. The on rare replay is a download. Okay, I'll head over there. Thanks. I think it's just a chest of drawers. Well, then push it aside. Um, I thought both was on there. Uh, I could double check. I can't see why it wouldn't be on there. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. That's weird. They have everything else on there. I guess they, I guess they want to pretend it didn't happen. I, I wonder what was the reason for not including it. Yeah, it's really weird. But it's backwards compatible with the Xbox One, which is nice. So you'll be able to play it on your uh, Series X. Unless, was that made by a different... Uh, that could have been made by a different studio. Was it Rare? It was Rare. So I have no idea why they wouldn't include it. It's so bizarre. Everything else is on there. We should push it from the other side. Yay, we're reunited. At last. I want you to tell me what's going on. I don't know yet, but I do love your new outfit. It makes you look less, uh, you know... Yes, I know. <laughs> here, I got your stuff. Thanks. What about my jacket? Whoever locked you up in here probably thought it matched his hair. Listen, I should never have agreed to let you come along. I have my own reasons for being here. Were you able to talk with Obed Morton? No, were you? I'm not so sure. I have this feeling that there's more than one Obed Morton. It's way too dangerous. We have to find a safe place for you where you can hide and wait for me. Listen, Carnby. You know as well as I do that the safest place is at least two hours away by plane. I haven't done too bad up till now, and I sure don't intend to spend whatever time I have left doing nothing. I want to know. Just before, I heard this voice above us. There's a trap door. If you help me, I can reach it. Well, why not stick together? You and I don't have the same goals. Remember what you told me in the plane. Come on, give me a hand. What if I were to say no? You're not the type to say no. There you go. Ooh. Got an acrobat statue and a dictation phone. Ugulai Hyperhanes Kona. I have always wondered about the circle of stones located in the moors. When I would ask Edenshaw about it, he always remained very vague. 
I now think it's some kind of ritual calendar used to determine various astronomical events. I have started building a planetarium that will be used in conjunction with the circle of planetarium stars. height. All this seems linked to the gate, to the opening of the gate, and to the ritual of the seven statues. Edenshaw was very surprised. It seems he had not thought them related. I therefore talked him into performing the ritual of his ancestors. I know his weakness and how to use it. He wanted to convince me of his powers as a witch doctor. Even he acted out witch of Witch doctor, hi. I recorded him while he spoke the sacred words of his tribe. He was standing before one of the steels, and the direction in which he pronounced the incantation seemed an important part of the ritual. But nothing happened. The time has not yet come, is what he said, justifying himself. Yeah, I don't know how the tape was going without even moving. That's magic. <laughs> it's a Panasonic, maybe. saving thingy uh i don't know i haven't checked remember i, I bought it brand new at launch so i don't know how much it's going for now So yeah, I got this like 20 years ago, so... shiny over here. Oh. Today I'm 10 years old and my mummy fell off her horse. She said that she saw a big shadow jump up in front of her, which made Sultan rear up. Daddy made a doctor come from the mainland. He said mummy won't ever walk or see anymore. I wonder what it's like to be blind. I try closing my eyes, but it isn't the same because I know I can open them again. Grandpa Jeremy made a new machine. It's not like all the other ones. It doesn't do much of anything, but it's very funny. You can make photographs that move with it. He told me again never to go near the gate. When I said that Obed and I discovered it when we were playing in the ruins on the fort, he got really angry. I know Grandpa Jeremy can open it up. Maybe someday he'll show me. Grandpa Jeremy died this morning. Father's sorrow doesn't seem great. Grandpa Jeremy never told me how to open the gate. When I asked him, he told me that if I desired was true, then I would find a way. Father has forbidden us from going to the fort. He has ever even changed the combination to the lock at the gate at the bridge. I think that's the, the, the thing we saw in the beginning of the game that had like the pictures as the combination. If only he realized father is afraid of the creatures of the darkness, I'm certain of it. He is a coward. He doesn't trust the weapons Grandpa Jeremy made. He said that we are going to leave the island and that it was time for starting living a normal life. I think mother agrees with him. I don't want to live anywhere um, but here. The world of men revolts me with all its triviality. Their uh, preoccupations are so crude. Man is so vain. Grandpa left me a letter and half a photo of us in front of the gate. 
I can't even remember where he took it. There's a number written on the back, but I can't do anything with it. It's not the code of the control board in the library. Why are they all so afraid of the shadows of the night? I know one day I will learn to speak their language. I know that one day I will pass into the world of the darkness. And then nobody will be able to tell me what I can and can't do. Or what is good or what is evil. The big day, the construction of my laboratory is nearly finished. I really need it to open up new vistas for my research. Obed is terrorized. But what can this pale reflection of a man understand? The Lord of Darkness are with me. By digging the underground gallery that leads to the tunnel to the sacrificial chapel, I've discovered another way to get to the gate. So I won't have to clear Grandpa Jeremy's path that my idiot father made inaccessible. As soon as I get my hands on that translation, I'm so impatient. And let's hope that Eden Shaw doesn't get it into his head to start telling me how to behave again. I have never understood his real motive, motivations. Grandpa Jeremy held him in high esteem. I know that he's on the wrong side of the shadow, that when the moment comes, he will try everything to stop me from succeeding. I know that when the time comes, I'll have to neutralize him. Him, too. I've just reread a few pages of my notebook and I realized just how far I have always been. Father should never have gotten between us and our destiny, but in the end, he has been much more helpful to me than he would ever have believed. I made great progress in the translations of the tablets. A new world is going to be open before me. It bothers me a little that Obed profits from my accomplishments in order to win himself honors in high society. One day my brother will find a wife and have children, then what? Then he will return to Shadow Island to fulfill his fate. I don't have the luxury of all that time to waste. We live in immense danger, but of, of well, what of it? We Mortons have lived with danger for over a century. We have mastered it and learned how to tame it. Obed is a shriveling coward, just like the others. Grandpa Jeremy left me several leads, but I still don't understand why he never confided the secret of the gate to me. No doubt he thought that I didn't deserve it. I still need raw materials. I think I those I use for my initial experiments are rotting, barely good enough to drop in the pickling, what pickling, um, formalin. The storms too are too infrequent. Obed met somebody that could resolve my supply problem. I made so much progress since my last attempt. Oh, father, I would never have believed that you would one day be so close to divinity. Perfect fusion is within my grasp. When I was foraging through Obed's affairs, I found definitive proof that he was not only was not only betrayed me, but the whole of the Morton family history. The letter Lamb sent him leaves me in no doubt. More raw materials, but this time fresh. Okay. Is there blood on the bed? Okay. Okay, so I guess we could leave this room. An Indian posing in front of an underground door framed by two monumental statues. I'm not sure where to go now. Did we get a key or something? That's where we came from. Is this mirror? This looks like it could be moved. Oh, it says HM. We might need that for something.
Oh. I know who you are and what you have come looking for. I was expecting you. Just stay where you are. Don't move an inch. Who are you? They call me Edenshaw. I am the guardian of this island. The guardian? Guardian of what? And what are all these monsters? What the heck's going on here? Professor Morton has definitely crossed the threshold. Look, can't you spell it out? What is this mess? My weakness is to blame. I let children play with powers way beyond their grasp. But the legends were not wrong. You have come to us. My only hope is that it is not too late. This is all Greek to me. It will become clear soon enough. Go to the library. The books withhold many a secret. Also, take this charm. It will prevent you from falling into oblivion with all the others. Go, fulfill your destiny. Save us. Wait, wait. Okay, I didn't come here to fool destiny. around. I came to investigate Fisk's death. I do not know who you are talking about. Charles Fisk. 50-ish, about 6'1", graying hair. I still do not know who that is. You see, nobody's come to Shadow Island for months now. Okay, that's about enough of this. Oh, God. They are charmer saving. <laughs> that was scary. Uh, what's that? Oh, fuck. Uh-oh. <laughs> It says HM on it. Okay. Oh, we're out of bullets. Hopefully we find another gun that uses these cartridges. I think that's for the shotgun. We don't have the shotgun yet. Okay, good. The display ca cabinet with a ship model and some kind of balance. What's what that noise? Ew, what's that? Oh, watch out for little critters around here. Hey, charm of saving. You should use one of that right now, right? We have four of them. Photograph. Uh, let's... Black and white photograph of displaying cabinet containing an exploration ship and a flask. Okay, so we need to put the flask... Um... In that thing, I guess something will happen. Wolf mask. Ew! Get off my head! 
we got a wolf mask. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Books. But a huge quantity of knowledge in the service of evil. I think that's it for this room. Over here. Nothing? I think that's it for this room. Oh, no, not that guy again. Hello! Not good. What do I do? I guess I gotta run past them. Hey, very good. Anything over here? Is there a shotgun around here? Med kit is good. Anything else around here? Again, more of this, but I don't have a shotgun. Is this a dead end? Yeah, it's a dead end. Anything over here? I'm gonna wait till the Zambi comes over here. Rusty tap, which still functions. Here he comes. Ew. Get away from me. Oh, what is this? Yeah, we're getting a lot of that stuff, but... Alright, yeah, you can get the PS2 version, I guess, right? I don't know, I'm assuming that one would be pricier than the Dreamcast one, because PS2 stuff is, um gone up in price, right? All right, lur lurk away. Ah, uh, grenade launcher. That's probably the gun we need, right? Okay. We got a good weapon upgrade. Where are you? In the attic. I went through there. I saw that there's some sort of trap door on the floor. You'll see it. When you walk on it, it has a hollow sound. I met Edenshaw, the old Indian. He told me he was the last witch doctor. He says he can do something that will stop all this madness. Do you think we can trust him? I met him too. He seemed to know a lot more than he said. But I don't think we have much of a choice anyhow. He needs seven statues to carry out some sort of ritual. Well, why doesn't he go looking for them? Can't we help him? Sure. What do these statues look like? I don't really know. They depict some kind of animals, I think. Oh, well, that narrows it down. 
Carnby, I'm sure it's really important. I know, I know. We'll find his statues for him. But after that, we're going home. And where is your home? I don't know yet. We'll get to that later. Over. I don't think I have any keys, right? No, I don't want to save yet. So I guess we leave. Wait, didn't she say there's a place on the floor? So wouldn't it be like here? I don't know. Okay, let's just head back. It's good that we got this uh, grenade. It's like a dead end, so we haven't gone up here. Locked. Oh darn it! I feel like we've been everywhere. No, wait. We haven't gone on this side of the room. Oh, oh! Oh! No! Oh, my face! Oh, two shots of this and they're down. This is the weapon to use on them. Oh! Stop eating my face! I met someone called Edenshaw. And what'd you f he knows a lot more than he's saying. He uh, what do you oh, he did this One already. of two things. What if this came here? No, that's no good. But maybe he never had time to. What do you mean? The monsters, the creatures. But Fisk died of a bullet to the heart. Oh, I see. Or actually, I don't see. I'll go looking for Obed Morton. He has the answers to our questions. I'm starting to think otherwise. Okay. Oh, okay, so this is not... That's why I couldn't recharge. So this is a different weapon. So I can't uh, reload this. Interesting. Okay, so we still need to find a weapon for this, which is probably the shotgun. So we don't have that yet. Okay, I'm gonna save. So now we have no bullets for anything, which is not good. Hopefully we find a shotgun. Door's locked. 
Door's locked. Uh-oh. Zambi. Oh no, lots of Zambis. Not good. No bullets. Stop in my face. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Crowbar. Maybe I could beat people over the head with a crowbar. No, it's not considered a weapon. Oh, great. I need a knife or something. Shadow Island. I, the undersigned Richard Morton, with sound mind and body, declared this document to be my last will and testament. Let no other take its place. Archibald, my son, the mission I undertook many years ago is still vast and incomplete. I expect you and your descendants to strive without respite for its completion to the end. I bequeath you my goods, uh, my estate, blah, 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 blah. I will tell you what to do and how to do it, Archibald. I have... Often seen doubt cloud your youthful eyes. Sometimes your glance betrays your approval. Indeed, I have sacrificed human life, but name me the conquest without sacrifice. Indeed, I have defiled almost every commandment in the Bible, but is the morality always the first casualty of progress? But what worth do a few miserable lives have compared to the immense discoveries and enormous unprecedented advances that I have made? Archibald, I know you are no coward. I know that with the the Cetro's help you will go far, much further than I have ever did. You will be the one to venture into the unknown. You will set the foundation for a new humanity. I know that because of us, the Morton's name will shine with the light of a thousand stars in the great pantheon of history. My detractors will become the laughing stock of the generation to come. Thanks to you and the confidence of Allah, our destiny shall be fulfilled. Thus I leave this world in peace. My, li my library is my life's work. I want to be... I want it to be a hexagon, the perfect form of six quadrilateral triangles representing the universe. It is a repository for 10 centuries of human knowledge, worthless every word of it. 10 centuries of empty hollow treaties, 10 black centuries of ignorance, vain and stupid reflections that remind us every day how vile and petty the human spirit is. 10 centuries of not one mention of the world of darkness. I understand now that the humanity has let its destiny go by. However, four works are worth saving. Four works containing the true key. I have discovered a symbol that represents the world of darkness and of light. Two entities in equilibrium, one above the other. The one that does not exist without the other. Two triangles juxtaposed in opposition. The one cellar, the other dark. The one clear, the other dark. I place the four books vertically in space in the library representing the symbols. The symbols thus cross the library from one to the other side. The first is placed at the highest. Okay, so we're going to need to look at this later. Light, darkness, darkness, light. And there's a picture of it. So yeah, when we get to the library, I think there's a... This book is a result of research that I've embarked upon for 20 years. I'm aware that the theories, ideas, and truths that compound expounded uh, therein has already uh, engendered great hostility, not only from my colleagues, but also from anthropological and ecological scientists who are more distant related to my field. I know that history will prove me right. Convictions that drive me onward in this path. I've chosen to take my passion for the culture and language I owe this passion to the two men. Firstly, my great grandfather, Jeremy Morton, who was a physician, mathematician, astronomer, philosopher, and mag magician, as well as a misunderstood genius. By the will of God, may mankind one day pay him the homage that is due. Second, Joseph Edenshaw, who entered my grandfather's service in 1920. He may have been my tutor, but he was like my father to me. Wait, if Edenshaw's that old, how is that possible? Um. Yeah, that would make him like 80. 
Uh, he may have been my master, but he was also a faithful servant. To my knowledge, he is the last living representation of the great Apkensian civilization. I am deeply grateful for both him. My detractors have often reproached me for elaborating the theories, blah, blah, blah. It's true that until now, the material I have provided to feed my critics' curiosity is scant. Three engraved stones, several dozen photos. Um... I can con confirm that the highly evolved form of civilization is a complex writing system, blah, blah, blah. This is my first publication. has appeared in certain blah, blah, blah. The magic of light. Here's our dear destiny and uh, demon of darkness. Grappling today with reflections, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Oops. Oh, I keep picking up the book. Oh, we need this. That's the, the flask that we need to put on that, um, that scale thing. Oh, oh no. Not good. Oh, first aid, that's good. We need to fill this with water, I think. Whatever this thing is. Now we can leave. So somehow we're going to have to get through this thing without dying. Stop eating my face. Stop eating my face. Stop. <laughs> uh, I think the place to use this is over here. Something unlocked under that painting. So let's go back to the hallway then and check it out. Oh no! We're not gonna survive much longer until we find like a shotgun or something. I think this leads back. Uh, upstairs. Activate it, yes. Oh! Okay. It says ground floor east. Okay. Uh, I think we should save. <laughs> 